Today we're going to continue our series dealing with strollers that are worth buying secondhand, moving on to the Boogaboo Buffalo, which, despite being discontinued in 2018, is still supported to a large extent with spare parts from Boogaboo, and which remains one of my favorite larger sized Cadillac type models of all time. So let's get started then, beginning with a brief look at the model itself, its strengths, weaknesses, and which lifestyles it will be a good fit for, and then move on to what you need to watch out for specifically when buying this model on the secondhand market. Starting off with some stats, the Buffalo clocks in at right around 12 kilos and folds down to 34 by 54 by 88 centimeters, which is a bit on the larger side for single child models these days, and is definitely a bit chunkier than the Fox, but where it's important to realize that the Buffalo is designed as a luxury, terrain-capable model, intended to compete with strollers like the Upper Baby Vista and the Stoka Trails, and has been upsized to improve several use characteristics, such as having a larger than average seat and bassinet for a reversible seat model, both of which being originally included with the stroller and attachable to the same frame. As far as driving is concerned, the Buffalo's 10-inch front wheels and shock absorption built into the basic structure of the chassis, coupled with front wheel suspension, spring-loaded pads in the front wheel housings to mitigate wear, and strong foam-filled tires, give the Buffalo phenomenal performance for a four-wheeled model, better than both the Fox and the Vista, by the way. And at the same time, in terms of structural strength, note that the Buffalo is constructed with the predominance of parts that are the same as those with which the donkey is built, essentially making the model designed with the durability needed for two children, even though it only seats one. As far as for whom the model will best suit, I would say that the Buffalo excels for non-car based lifestyles in particular, and for people who need an extra degree of terrain capability and increased storage capacity, for handling long day trips out, and for tackling nature environments and winter conditions. Despite being a very sturdy model, the Buffalo has been around for a while now, and there are definitely a few things to check before purchasing it secondhand, beginning with just a general inspection that all the mechanisms function, that there are no visibly broken parts, and that the textiles are in decent condition. Beyond this, you should also pay particular attention to the following areas. Firstly, that the struts that hold the seat frame are whole, as they can sometimes crack right at the bottom as a result of accidents, and sometimes unscrupulous sellers will try to fix them with glue. Secondly, that there isn't weakness on either side between the front and rear frames as they are locked apart when the stroller is opened up, as this can indicate wear on the middle and innermost discs inside the locking mechanism that's impossible to fix without replacement parts. Thirdly, that the plastic sleeves holding the legs of the rear frame aren't split, a problem occurring as a result of the use of wheeled boards that puts too much pressure on the chassis. And lastly, that the front wheels can be removed, as sometimes they can get locked inside by problems related to wear on the locking mechanisms, which is rare, but important to look out for, so that you can replace the front wheels or shock absorbing elements of the front wheel housings if needed. There are other areas to check as well, of course, such as the ball bearings, the brake system, the handle height adjustment mechanism, and so on. But most of these other areas can either be fixed without spare parts, or the parts required are pretty cheap. And note that technically, everything can be fixed on the Buffalo, since Boogaboo is willing to supply parts, which is definitely something to applaud the company for, as most manufacturers won't do this with discontinued models. One last note here before moving on is that the handle arms often loosen and may even get to the point that they pop out of the locked position. But if you see this, know that in most cases, this is just a matter of the central screws needing tightening and can be a good place for price haggling since the repair is easy to do. Once you've acquired a good model, it's my recommendation to do the following maintenance before use. Firstly, do some lubrication by using a can of silicone spray to spray generously into the cracks between all three discs of the central folding mechanism on either side, and fold, unfold the model to work the silicone in. As well as into the brake system, put the stroller on its side, do one side, then flip it over and do the other, and into the front wheel housings, where you could alternatively use a thicker grease and the ball bearings. Then, tighten both the handle and remove the caps on either side of the central bar and tighten the screws you find there as well. You can replace the caps with a little super glue, but don't overdo it, as tightening these screws should be a part of annual maintenance. You can of course go beyond this as well if you like, and we have several repair videos and renovation videos on our channel for the Buffalo, many of which have been linked in the description. How much you should pay for your Buffalo is hard to say, since prices vary greatly around the world. But here in Norway at least, where the model has always been quite popular, a good Buffalo can usually be had for four or five hundred bucks. And if you get a good one, or are willing to throw a little extra towards replacing elements that are worn down, just as one might renovate a vintage car, then it will easily both perform and hold out longer moving forwards than a brand new Fox would. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.